In late summer and early autumn, Swedish forests are full of mushrooms, but no one practically is going to pick them up. And one of the reasons for that is that father of modern botanics, Carl Linnaeus, described two centuries ago the kingdom of mushrooms as suspicious, useless and not tasty. Mushrooms probably are the most mysterious and cryptic organisms on the earth. The biggest part of their life is hidden underground. Many people mistakenly think that fungi are plants, but they are not. Mushrooms and animals diverged 10 million years later than plants have become a separate branch. So mushrooms have much more biological connections with people than with plants. For many of us, the only value of fungi is that some of them are eatable. Best quality mushrooms contain up to 10% of proteins. But fungi have also other values, sometimes dangerous for humans. How to avoid mistakes? Porcini chanterelles and funnel chanterelles are favorite mushroom species in Sweden. But how to recognize hundreds of others? Local library contains a plenty of information. Is there a universal key to knowledge? Do you have any books about mushrooms in the library? Yes, we have some. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I was a bit disappointed. Honestly, uh, how many of us are able to distinguish by photo an extremely dangerous death cap from edible yellow night? After visiting the library, and suffering the internet, I became absolutely sure people should keep such knowledge in 3D form. In 21st century, we have technologies which can work effectively. I surfed the internet for 3D images of mushrooms and I found practically nothing. So I decided to initiate the first ever 3D catalogue of mushrooms. It was already late autumn in Sweden when I started to pick up mushrooms with Artex Scanner. I was trying to use last warm days to capture fungi's 3D portraits. Not always I was lucky with the weather. The scientific Latin name of this mushroom is Lactarius deliciosus. If you know a little bit Latin, uh, it's easy to understand that it refers to milk and delicious taste. The Swedish name Tal Bludriska goes to you know, the blood of pine, something like that. Scanning in the forest is a challenge. First, you must have a fully charged battery, and Artec batteries give you freedom for up to four hours. But you have to think much about positioning yourself for working. It appeared difficult to scan a stalk and gills on a place. As it was important, I had to pick some samples for scanning at home. I don't know what my neighbors were thinking about me when they saw me coming home with a basket of fly agarics, but that was for education. For hosting of 3D objects, there is a well-established resource called Sketchfab. But I also checked out new 3D host, Viewshape where you can upload your 3D files directly from Artec Studio and I enjoyed its design and functionality. From my point of view, 3D images are much more informative. But what professionals think about 3D fungi? Natalia Striemets earned a PhD degree in the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences. Her dissertation was devoted to the non-timber values of the Swedish forests. Now she works in Ukraine. 3D catalog of mushroom species is a very interesting idea. Experts can use it for identification in new mushroom species and also they can use it for taxation of the forest resources. After all, people still think that the forest are on, values the forest only as a cost of the timber. And the knowledge of mushrooms is clearly not enough. Are you talking about forestry specialists? 
and about them too. But three D catalog of mushroom species could be used at schools, and there is uh, other aspect of the question that there are many people in Scandinavia who do not have Nordic experience and they don't know the mushroom species, and there are even cases of poisoning. So three D catalog of mushroom species and uh, medical herbs is a useful knowledge for all. Finally, I had to postpone my project. In winter we have no mushrooms in Swedish forests. Next year I will try again. Probably I will use Artex Space Spider with its fantastic resolution. <laughs>